A while ago I made a video on a program called XB Quick Fix Plus. And as you can see on my uh, forum here, it does a lot of decent stuff. It actually fixes uh, Enable Task Manager, uh, Enable Registry Editor and so on and so on. Okay, This is the, the guy that made the XP Quick Fix Plus. He's made a new one now for 7 Quick Fix it's called for the Windows 7. Now you can get all this information on my website on my forum here but I'm going to show you uh, the 7 Quick Fix. So basically as you can see uh, we've got 7 Quick Fix here and uh, it's pretty decent. I mean what it's going to do is the same thing as the uh, XP one really so you've got the enable task manager, enable command prompt, enable registry editor and uh, enable folder options, reboot after update, also update shutdown, uh, slow shutdown, it's got a few other bits and pieces as you can see, uh, restore aero uh, function and uh, we've also got a disable IPv6 and also enable IPv6 no DVD drive which is obviously the DVD icon missing and you can't use it also install a crash slow menu uh, themes changes and system tray also task taskbar properties and uh, taskbar context and also WinX shortcuts and display properties and control panel so repair those now you may say to yourself like why am I going to need these well if you get infected with uh, viruses or malware then this application is going to be very useful it does run on a USB stick so all you need to do is just basically come on here if you've lost your task manager or something of that nature you just click on that and it will actually put that registry and uh, registry key back and fix it so it will then enable it again okay now this may be the case after you've removed all the malware and spyware and trojans from your system and what normally happens is the damage has been done and these will not work properly so this is when this tool will come into its own so this is the actual tool it's called 7 quick fix 1.0 I'm pretty sure he's going to add more useful tools to it and uh, you can download it from my forum if you want and I will put a link in the description so thanks again for watching guys I just wanted to give you a heads up on this one because I know people were asking whether they've got one that works with Windows 7, well there is now, and thanks to the guy who made it. So thanks again for watching guys, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk, if you enjoy my videos remember please subscribe to my channel, and also head over to my forum, if you've not been over there so far, you know where it is, it's over here now, brightechcomputers.co.uk forward slash forum, and you can get all these useful tutorials and downloads from there as well, and read more about it. Okay, so thanks again for watching guys, bye for now.